really doesn't get much more American than... Oh. This is the Flying Miata Habu. Habu being a small venomous snake from Japan. Why is that appropriate? Well, because this is an MX-5 with a Chevy small block V8 in it. 6.3 litres of V8, 525 brake horsepower. It's an old recipe, but it's a very good one. Small car, big engine. What's not to love? The reason they use the LS3 engine is because it has what they call good power density. Good phrase that. And amazingly, it actually it only changes the weight distribution by 1%, so 53% of the front now, 47% of the rear, as opposed to 52 in the standard car, which is incredible, really. I want an engine. It's a proper, proper V8. Anyway, as fun as it is driving this in straight lines, we want some bends. And for that, we need a track. To Willow Springs! Just sitting there, you really wouldn't know that it had twice the number of cylinders under the bonnet. No bulges or side exit exhausts. I like that. In fact, such is the normality of the cabin and the view over the bonnet that when you first start it up, it's hard to connect the sound that you're hearing with the car that you're driving. There are in fact two choices of engine. The standard LS3 from the current Camaro, which allegedly makes for more of a GT car feel. And this, the LS376525, which has the hotter, lumpier cam and sharper responses. Another bonus of the Flying Miata conversion is that you get much weightier hydraulically assisted steering in place of the standard E-Pass. Oh, and they can convert the Fiat 124 Spider if you prefer a pepperoni pizza style Italian-American combination. Anyway, out onto the track. This is Horse Thief Mile track at Willow Springs. It's an amazing little circuit. Sort of suited to the size of the car, but then the engine really feels too big and strong for this circuit. It's amazing because it does still retain a lot of what you expect an MX-5 to be like, but just with that amazing power plant. I actually found it's better to probably be a gear higher than you think through a lot of the corners, just run all that torque. And of course, if you want to have fun, you can. It's on fairly grippy Bridgestone track tyres. But there's still a lovely fluid balance to it. Quite heavy steering. But it's a lot of fun. What a fun little car. Driving the V8 Miata is a bit like sharing a bedsit with a bear. In such a small car, the grizzly engine always makes its presence felt, whatever the situation. You're also always aware that you're in a relatively short wheelbase, so slides can start and stop very quickly. But the Fox Racing suspension, a name probably more associated with motorbikes and mountain bikes, is impressive on both road and track. The Flying Miata conversion costs $50,000. That's the same outlay you'd need for a Mustang GT350 in the States. But what must be the world's smallest muscle car has an appeal that's somehow very different to the big Ford. In fact, I think the wonderful little Habu could succeed where Mustangs and Camaros and Corvettes have always slightly failed. It could actually fit in rather well in little old England.